Joe, just out of curiosity, who have you debated? Who's been your toughest debate ever? I mean, I didn't feel that any of my debates were tough. I've only, I, I'm, yeah. Who have you debated? In 1996, I was in the third party debate when I debated the Green Party, Constitution Party, and, and those. Uh, in March, before the nomination, I was also in a third party debate where I sat next to the Green Party um, nominee and a few other people. And then, of course, the debates within the Libertarian Party. But when's the last time you had a really tough debate against a non libertarian? When is the last well, time it you was had a. It was pretty easy uh, debating the Green Party candidate, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, let me continue. Uh, when is the last time you had a debate with a non-libertarian or non-Green Party? When is the last time you had a debate with somebody that was non-libertarian, non-Green? Well, an official debate, like I said, it would be in the nomination process in, in 2020. Tw 2019, 20. Who'd you debate? Well, as I said, the, the Green Party, I don't remember who all was on the stage. Uh, some of them are parties I'd never heard of, but I have heard of the Green Party. And then um, in 2020, it was within the party. So you've never debated anybody that's uh, opposing Libertarian or Green Party? Well, I mean, again, like if I Constitution I'm, I'm, I'm actually, Party. Well, but I'm, I want to Google it right now. I'm on YouTube sure. right now. If I type in Joe Jorgensen debate, what would you say is the part, debate that you had that was either a Democrat or Republican or an Independent? Oh, there was... A Democrat or two in the debate in Chicago in March. Yeah, I guess it would have been March 2020. Who were who were they when you debated them? I don't remember their names. Was it a hmm? was it a stage debate? Was it public? Was there oh yeah, it was in it was in <coughs> Chicago. And what was the format? What was the format of the debate? Uh, we would go down the line and answer questions and get that's to respond debate, to each though. other. But that's not a debate, though. So you've never well, really... Well, I mean, it, you know, it's not like the Lincoln-Douglas debate. So it, it, it wasn't... But, uh, are, you, are you planning on running in 2023, 2024? I don't know. Okay. So let's just say you are. Uh, who, who is your, who is your like, um, who behind closed doors are they sitting there and like you know going back and forth they ask six you say this if they say this you say this like who does that with you guys back and forth debating do you guys practice a lot of that well since i was in no debates in after the nomination we didn't do it uh we were invited to the third party debate however i we were on the ballot in all 50 states and so I did not want to debate the other parties because that would get us into comparison with them as opposed to the Democrats and Republicans. Uh, if I debated the Green Party, then for the next four weeks, I'd have uh, reporters asking me to compare, you know, what, what about this on the debate stage and now compare this. And the Libertarian Party is the only party other than the Democrats and Republicans to be on the ballot in all 50 states. Uh, there, and so I, I'm not going to debate the Green Party or Kanye West, who's on 16 states. It actually probably would get you more eyeballs if you debated Kanye West. I think <laughs> that actually would be a good, a good debate. <laughs> that actually might not be a bad idea. But, but going back to it, so, um, so debating, you, so who's been your toughest interview? Who has interviewed the toughest and pushed you where you got off saying, what a son of a bitch? In the past? Yes. Toughest interview ever. Where you couldn't wait to finish the interview. Oh, that would have been in 1996 when I was running for uh, VP and I interviewed somebody in Ohio, but I don't remember the guy's name. It's a long time ago. It is. It's a long time ago. That's like saying you want to be a heavyweight champion today, but the last time you fought a heavyweight was 26 years ago. 
You know how tough that is? Well, no, you didn't ask when's the last time I fought a heavyweight. That was the last time because I wasn't as prepared in 1996. So who's the it last heavyweight easier. you fought? Who's your last heavyweight you fought? Oh, like who interviewed me? Yeah, who's the toughest um, interview you've had recently? Well, but again, I wouldn't call it tough, but... Uh, you know, the Washington Post. I mean, I, I did. I got interviewed by several media people, but I didn't f consider them tough. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, OK. So so for me, the reason why I ask that question is because um, I sa I've sat with other libertarians mm -hmm. and for somebody who politically was on a different side. And I sit down and like, let me hear the libertarian argument. And, you know, I'm like, oh, OK, that makes sense. Oh, okay. well, I, you know what? That's a good point. You got me thinking. Oh, wow. Okay, gr you know what? Never thought about it. I never looked at drugs that way. I never looked at prostitution that way before. I never looked at, you know, stealing that way before. Interesting. Okay, cool. It made me think, right? And and I don't feel I asked Well, tough. so the meth house didn't make you think? The idea that, okay, if we had Philip Morris making meth instead of the guy next door, that that would be safer. Isn't that maybe something you haven't heard? And we didn't get yeah. into prostitution, but, hey, I think that was pretty unique, saying that I don't want to discriminate against ugly guys. I mean, right now, to do it legally, you have to have money or you have to be good looking, right, <laughs> to get the woman that you want with her looks. Are you, are you, I think are, that's unique. Are you open to feedback? Can I give feedback? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if... If I, if I wanted to give you feedback, here's what I would do. I would sit you down in a room like this for four weeks straight, and I would grill the hell out of you until you were throwing stuff at me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and you would throw stuff <laughs> at me because I know how to do that. <laughs> yes. And you would say, Pat, I need a break. I'd say, no problem. Go for it. Take a break. Come back. Okay. Dr. Joe, we role play this. I'm gonna ask a question one more time. What are your points? Boom. Da, 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 yeah. da, da. And I would I would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because there's a difference between the big stage and between debating other libertarians. I mean, what does a debate with a libertarian look like? Okay, I agree with him. Yeah, I agree with him, but I also agree with him. But what I would say is this, but I think the age is 19, but I think the age should be 18, but I think the border should be this, but I think that, but I agree, but I agree, but I agree. I mean, the most, one time we had a debate, uh, uh, Tyler, who was the debate we had with the two marijuana folks that we had here debating? Hector Brillas. Yeah, yeah, and then, no, no, it wasn't even that. It was the debate I had between Alan Dershowitz and the other gentleman who wrote yeah, the... Yeah, the vaccine book. And then 20 minutes into, I'm like, guys, why don't we just finish this debate and you guys go have dinner together? Because every word is, I agree, I agree, I agree. Nobody wants to see something like that. People want to learn mm -hmm. on opposing ideas to sit there and say, that doesn't make any sense. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.